Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. Just me, Betty. Why would you put this stapler down? Seriously. What are you doing here? Why didn't you at the big to do at the longhouse? Uh, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight. But you look amazing. It looks great on you. Seriously. What were you doing up on the roof? Hmm? Nothing. Just. Were you up to mischief? Come on, I know you're in there. So just come on out. Or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. You're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I cannot believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Gotta find a way out of here. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Wait! Ah, gold crap. that guy. Shoot! 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 Get out of here! That was close. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down.
and the plan is working perfectly. Hey, man, I've been looking like forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to assert your talent? I mean, what the Why hell are you always even do this, Reggie? Why don't you explain it to me? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're gonna share us from. It to really? You. Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. How's the military doing? <laughs> Holy shit, Ooh. dude. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Thought I was gonna die. Hey, you all right? Oh, God. Oh. Hey, <laughs> let him go! Just let him go, and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go, or I will shoot you. Right? I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Reg? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? Oh God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What the hell is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! No. I gotta get through here. What is going on? Reggie! Off you. Do you just. I gotta get you out! Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, just, just help me push! Oh, dear God. No, no, no! Oh, shit! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Ready? I can't it's stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No! no. You are my brother, all right? You are my brother. Okay, this thing with you is gonna pass. I promise, we'll fix it. All right, you with me? You with me? Okay, okay. We gotta get out there. There is a bio so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now, all right? Okay, come on. You good? Yeah. Promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't. Just promise me you won't do that. Hey, hey. Just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? Because it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Wait, he's not. Damn it. The tribe hears about you, there's gonna be panic. Fine, go. Control the mobs. I'm coming back with help. See if Betty's in there with the bioterrorist, and be careful. You know what those freaks are capable of. 
Yeah, those bricks. I gotta do something. Betty needs me. Fence. Good to know. Not good. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty, where are you, Betty? <sighs> Spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty! You gotta get out of here, lady! Stay away from I'm me! I'm trying to help no, you, lady! Stay away from me! Stop! Ah! Delson! I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me! You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You make me see something or you hear something, Learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you poking around inside my head. Me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, I'm warning you, kid. Back off! I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid! A bioterrorist! Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life! And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you. I'm not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. Day you fix coming. And she knows I'm on to her plan. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Kurt and Kay. Yeah, well, whoever's come has come for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. No. Hell no. No way, I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Let me go. Just let me walk away. 
Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute. Stop. Let's talk about this. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bio terrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor, are you? I, uh, I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> It's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. But it's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. What are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy. I've got rights! And I have a legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again what happened in there. And I'll tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened no, in there. No, Betty, don't. So, really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me. I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? What? I said, I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from, from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Tells him. Ah! So, Betty, maybe you could give me a straight answer. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm told that hurts. <laughs> 